Right, hi guys, I'm just going to do a live paint. I'm just going to test this setup out, see if it's good for live streaming or not. So I did want to do this one outside, but I've had to move into the garage because it started to rain. So what I'm going to do for this one here, I'm just going to paint on an A3 stretched canvas. I'm just going to do a bit of a landscape painting, some clouds, mountains, some trees, a bit of water, some trees in the distance. And some mist or something so i'll keep popping back to the phone to see if there's any comments or anything and answer any questions if you have any so i'll start in a minute just wait for some more to come on I'm not sure what the sounds like or anything because I'm using my phone and I plugged the microphone in so I'm not really sure what the sound's going to be like or anything like that. So could you let me know what it's like, if it's alright or if I need to change anything on it. Hi DHD, thanks a lot. For feedback on the sound so I'm going to start in a minute So this is the first time I've done a live painting on YouTube so I'm not really sure how it's going to turn out or anything like that. So I'm going to start off by doing some clouds here in the sky. So I'll use a darker blue first. Like I said I'm spraying on canvas so it's a bit different, you have to put a bit more paint down when you're painting. Yeah I know I haven't got my mask on but I'm talking so you wouldn't really hear me if I had the mask on, but I've got a garage door open and the wind is open. So hopefully it should be alright. So that's a bit of dark blue down. So we'll go to a lighter shade of blue. So I'm just building some colours up at the moment for the sky. I'll go with a lighter blue. And what I'm going to do now is use a cloud stencil. I'm just going to add some cloud shapes into onto the painting. But always remember, if you're going to use something like that and you're close to the painting like that, just make sure the paint's dry before you start placing the cloud stencil on, because it will stick to the wet paint and then leave marks, pull some of the paint off. Like I said, we'll give a wipe first. I'm just going to press the cap lightly to get some cloud shapes. So as you can see the paint's a bit wet there. And where a bit of the wet paint you've got some marks come through. And over here. Because it's live, I'm just going to carry on. I'm not going to wait for it to dry. It's always best to let it dry and you won't get any marks on your painting or anything. So this is also the first time doing like a landscape painting or something on an easel. So I'm not really sure how it's going to turn out. But like I said, I'll give it a try. And we'll see. I'm also not really sure how to answer comments or anything on the phone because like I said this is the first time. So 
just have to bear with me. So we've got some white in for the clouds, we're just going to get some blue. I'm just going to go over them, lightly mist underneath them a bit. Bit of a dark blue. Then once you've done part of the painting, you can just step away and look at it, see what you think of it, before moving on to the next. I'm just going to add a bit more white, I think. Just spray a bit of white underneath. Just have a look at that. Might just bring a bit of light blue in there as well. In places. So I think I'll do for the clouds and that. Now what I think I might do is add some mountains here or something. So what I'll do is get a spare piece of card. Spray a bit of black on it. Then you got something like that. I'm just going to use a paintbrush and I'm just going to put the mountain shapes in first. Like I said, this is the first time doing a live painting. So I'm not really sure how it's going to turn out or anything. I'm going to have a mountain here, I think. Do a mountain shape first with a paintbrush. It's also the first time painting on an easel. Like this doing the landscape, I normally paint on a table, so I'm not really sure how things are going to work. Some things might work a bit different. So I'm going to be doing this painting a bit faster than normal because I'm not sure how long the battery will last on my phone. It was 100% when I started. But I've got a microphone plugged into it as well, so I'm not sure how much battery is that going to drain as well. So we'll get some mountain shapes like this. Just some rough shapes with the black. I do get a bit more black. Bring this one up a bit more. Uh, that doesn't matter about covering that other one up, we can add it again in a minute. I'll do, and then this one. Also, with the Montana Gold, it dries pretty fast when it's on a piece of card like this. 
so that's why I keep adding some more paint to keep it wet so it's easier to move on the canvas so the thing I'll do for the mountain shapes the colours the black for it Alright, so we've added the base coat for the mountains now. So I'm just going to check the bone. So like I said, it's new to me this live streaming, so more of a test painting than anything else. But I still wanted to paint something, so I thought I'd just do a quick landscape or something. So now we've got the base colour for the mountains, we're going to add some white on the highlighted side. So for this, we're going to use a piece of small card like this, and we're going to be adding the white to it using this. I find it better as well using a piece of card than a pallet knife for summer. I've tried with a pallet knife, I couldn't really get it, so I went to a piece of card and I find that easier. But you might find using a pallet knife or something like that easier than a piece of card. It's just trial and error, trying different things to see which one that you like the best. So we're going to get the white first. We'll spray it on this spare piece of card again there. So you just want a bit of white on this spare card. Got a bit of white there. We dab it in so you get a bit of white on your car like that, and all we're gonna do is just place it on there and rub it on a bit. It doesn't matter about the paint being wet, the black paint, because it can mix with the white and then give you different tones of white and then a bit of grey and that stuff like that. So it's not just like a block of white. So do some jagged edges like that so it looks so it's mountain shapes. Like I said, it's the first time I'm doing it on an easel, so it's a bit different. Paint on an easel than it is flat on the table or something. But I want to try and paint a few more on an easel if I can. Because I quite enjoyed the last one I did. The one where I did the star coming from behind the planet. I quite enjoyed painting it. I've also done another painting as well on an easel. I'll be coming soon. Where I did multi planets on it using an easel, but without holding the planets, the planet stencils. So when you're doing these mountains, you want to just step back from the painting and have a look to see what it looks like when you're adding the white paint to them. Because when I first started doing the mountains, when I first started painting mountains, I never used to step away and look. And I always thought they were not very good. They're still not best, so I'd like to improve on them a lot. But that's just practice. But if you step away from a painting while you're painting them every so often and have a look, it gives you an idea of what they're going to look like. I'm just going to bring this one out a bit more, I think. So I'll step away and have a look at that. So I'm quite liking that at the moment. So like I said, this is a test video. 
and I'm not sure how long the batteries go in the last on my phone. Hopefully, it'll last all the painting. But if it does, then I'll have to stop and then try and charge it because I've got the speaker plugged in in the charging jack, so I can't charge and use the speaker at the same time. We've just had some paint there on that one. Have a look at it, see what it's like. So I'm quite liking these mountains at the moment. It's not as hot today. I did a painting yesterday. The one with the multi planets on an easel. And it was like 29 degrees yesterday outside. So the paint was drying pretty fast. And also, if it's too hot, it's hard to get texture in that. So that video will be coming sometime next week. But I've got another one coming before that, where I try doing something else, painting on something else. So that was pretty fun to do. So now we've got these, I'm going to go to a smaller piece of card. And do this small one here. So I put a bit too much there, a bit too much white on that, on the top, but that's all right. Another. I'm just gonna add a bit of white to it there and there. Bring that down a bit. What I think I might do with this big one is just put a few more, bring out a bit. Just have a look at that. Like I said in the previous video, the one where I used the water based spray paint, which worked really well on the canvas, I was quite surprised how well it worked. That there's no need to rush when you're painting, just take your time and enjoy what you're painting. I know there's people that can paint a lot faster than me. And do videos and stuff like that but I like to take my time and show you how each step works and how to do each step and stuff like that that's why some of my videos are, are long especially that last one which was over an hour hour and 20 minutes long but I wanted to show you um, each step step by step and explain how to do it and why it's done and stuff like that so now we've got some white in now I'm going to add some blue to a shadowed area. So this I'm going to mix a bit of paint up, so a bit of dark blue. And I'm going to get a bit of white. And I'll be adding this with a piece of card as well. So just find a piece of card. So get a clean piece of card. So what I do is I tear them at the end like that, I tear a piece off so it's a bit more jagged edge. So you don't get a straight line when you're doing it. it gives you more of a different pattern so they're like a straight edge now we've got a bit of blue and white there i'm just going to mix it up a bit so just look to the comments thank you dhd for the comment much appreciated. So I mix some of the blue up now with the white. And just make sure when you, if you're using a piece of card, don't have too much on there. So I'm not sure about the background noise and that, but people still got to live in that. So there might be a bit of conversation or something in the background. 
but like I said, it's the first time trying the live stream out, so. Right, so we're gonna have the blue here now. So I'm gonna move over to this side, because we're gonna be coming this way now with the blue. Like the opposite angle. So we'll start on this first, so we're just gonna a little bit like like this. Might have a bit too much on this. Could do is you could do it like that. Like I said, the painting on an easel is a lot different than painting on a tabletop. So I like trying new things and painting on different stuff, and that makes things more enjoyable. It gives a bit of challenge as well. Got a bit of blue on that side on them too. Just gonna have a look at it, see what it's like. Step away. So I'm quite liking that. So we'll go to this big one now. So just make sure you haven't got too much on the piece of card. So I did a bit of blue on that. So I'm liking that. So if you notice, just keep stepping away from the painting and have a look at it. I'm having a look at it. Just see whether I like it or not. But just remember when you're painting, it doesn't matter what anyone else thinks about the painting, as long as you like it. That's all that really matters. I paint because I enjoy painting. And it's like something to do. So as long as I like the paintings, that's all that matters. That's a blue on that one. Still don't know how to figure out how to get the comments up and that here half time. Oh, here we go. I think it's uh, the jerk. I think. Yeah, it, it is fun way to paint. I'm really glad. I um, started painting with spray paint. I wish I'd started painting a lot earlier than I did. It was just by chance I was watching YouTube and a video come up that someone was painting in New York on the streets and I, and I watched it and I thought, well, that's a fun way to paint. So the next day, like I said in videos before, I, I already had some spare spray paint and some spare canvases in the in the shed and um the next day after watching that video I went out and give it a try and I kind of fell in love with it and since then it's something I enjoy it's like a new hobby to do it's a fun way to paint something different to paint something takes a bit of practice to get used to it but once you get used to it, it's fun. So I'm just going to check these comments. Like, like I did, I made that. If, if you watched the series where I tested all these different spray paints out, it's one of the questions I get asked quite a lot is, what is the best spray paint for spray paint art? Which, well, in my view, and like I said on that video, the last video, but there's no um, paint that's best for spray paint art. It's just the one you enjoy, the one you like using and that. See, you know we say I use the Montana Golden a lot in my videos. 
I like it and I enjoy using it. It's a, it's a nice paint and I like it. This, that's the reason why I use the Montana Gold. But some of the other paints I tried when I tested them all out, I enjoy painting with them all, but some of them I'd like to paint again with. So it's when you're picking your spray paint and that, it's not what people say to buy and that, it's whatever um, paints that you like, that you, you're suited to. Because I'm using my phone as well, I've got to keep going back and reading the um, comments and that. Because it's, like I said, something new. So, hi, it's me. Hi, thank you, it's me. And thank you, Air Jerk. Yes, DND, I'm a self taught spray paint artist. I taught myself most of the things I kind of learned myself because of the time when I started and I was searching YouTube for um, how to videos and stuff like that. Because the video I watched at the beginning was a um, kind of an upside down video side shot, which you couldn't really see much what he was doing and that. So I was looking on YouTube see, just for the basics and I couldn't really find any decent videos where they explained anything or did step-by-step -step processes or anything so the main reason if you watch me earlier videos most of them are just me painting and stuff like that but then I thought I want to help um, other people teach other people I want to put some videos on um, for people that are looking out how to do spray paint and side spray paint art so I decided to make the first few how-to videos like a mountain, a few stars and that to help people and then I made the how to, beginners how to series but when I made that instead of just saying oh here's how you paint trees and here's how you paint a pyramid or here's how you paint a planet and here's how you do this this and that I wanted to do each video as a full painting but add what element I wanted to teach in that painting so like for, for instance a pyramid one I added the planet a galaxy and then showed you how to do a pyramid and that so you could paint it and do a full painting instead of just saying oh I watched this video and it was just a pyramid if you know what I mean so that's why all the videos are long and also that other the other series where I tested all the spray paint out I wanted to show you each stage and how each worked I could have skipped a lot out but I think it's best if you're doing a tutorial or how to or something like that but you show each stage as it works so it's easier for people to learn off and that's why my how-to videos and stuff like that are slow you know what I mean and I repeat myself a couple of times when I'm doing each stage because I think it's that's the best way of learning something taking nice and slow so you can give as much information as you can on each of the videos so if you are starting out and you want to learn spray paint art the beginners tutorial series on my channel is real good series to learn from as a start from what you need and then work way work your way through to then produce your own paintings using the stuff that I showed you in them videos. I'm just trying to try and get these comments back up. Right, so enough talking for me. We'll carry on with this. So there are the highlights and shadows done on the mountains of blue. So before I add the white, I'm just gonna put a bit more white there. Before I move on to paint, I'm just gonna add a bit more white on this card. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a bit more white I think to these mountains just at the top. So we'll get another piece of card. I'm just gonna put a bit more white on it at the top. Like I said. First time on an easel, and I'm not sure how long this battery's going to last, so I'm going to have to go a bit faster, I think. So 
I'm just adding a bit of white here. Yeah. I think I'll do, I think. Right, so there are the mountains done now. I quite like them. I'm just going to step back, have a look at them. I quite like that. I quite like the painting as it is at the moment. So the next part we're going to do is going to mist it at the bottom here. Put some mist in with a white. So when you're doing mist or anything on your painting, you want to be pressing the cap down pretty light to get like a mist effect on your painting. Pretty much the same as when you're doing like highlights on your planets or something. Just press the cap down real light and press it. And also when you spray painting you can get a build up around the nozzles and that. Just keep an eye on that and make sure they're clean. Because then you can start getting the paint spitting and leaving dots all over your painting. So just missed at the bottom. So nice and light and move across the sheet or canvas or what you're painting on fast. That's a bit of mist added to the painting. So like I said, at each stage I'm going to step back and have a look at the painting, see what it's like. Because when I'm painting and I'm close up, you can't really get a feel of what the painting's looking like because you're pretty much close up, especially when you're flat on the table. So like that's why I keep stepping away from the painting and taking my time. So now we've got the mist at the bottom, I'm just going to add a row of trees here, I think in the distance, some distance trees. So I'm just going to do these black, so we'll get some black on a spare piece of card. And what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to use this flat brush here. I'm just going to do an up and down motion across there to do the trees. So we'll get some paintbrush on this. So we'll get some paint on this paintbrush. Like that. And then the motion you want to do is, is you want to like flick it up and down so you get like tree shapes. Bit like that, yeah, a bit of paint run off there, but it doesn't matter. Like that, not sure whether you can see. So I don't know how this is going to turn out these trees, because, like I said, painting upright on an easel, not done that before, so. I don't really know how to do this. I'm just going to have to go for it and give it a go. So I might walk in front of a camera here while I'm doing it. So we're just going to go up and down through the trees. So just below this mist here, somewhere there. Just keep adding a bit of black to your paintbrush. I'm going to have to add some more paint for some of it run off. Right, I'm just going to have to check, see what we're on for time and battery wise. Right, let's carry on. I might post this video on the channel as well. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. See if I can finish it. If the battery does go dead or anything on the phone, I'll um I'll have to go and charge it and I'll carry on with the painting a bit later on, but hopefully it'll last. So I'm bending down to do this a bit, I'm not sure. I'll have a look in a minute, see what it's like. I'm using the same techniques and that 
but I, I would if I was on the on the table or something. So let's have a look at them. Yeah, I think I'll do. Uh, well, right. Um, I just had a big in there. Yeah, that'll do a thing for that. So now we've got the trees in, just get a black and we'll do a thin line underneath. Not much of a line. Just press the cap lightly. You don't have to add the line, I do. Just so when you miss the trees now, so we look in the distance. So mist in the trees uh, is the same as mist in the mountain, just press the cap lightly and go across from side to side pretty fast. So you just get a mist effect, another block of colour over the trees, so you can still see them through the mist. And also mist in the layers, each one, like the mountains and the trees. And then when you get in the foreground and you add something, at least if you're doing something black in the foreground, like a tree or something, if you left all this black, this tree, when you build up your trees or whatever to bring them out, you wouldn't see much of it because this would be still black. So another advantage of misting the trees out in the distance now is that you can still see the things in the foreground. So I'm liking the way that's looking now. I know the clouds are a bit slanted and that, they could have gone across or whatever, but I like it. Oh, I'll just knock the camera stand. Let me bring it back. So I like how that's looking. So now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to add some water down here. So I'm going to use the same technique that I use if I was on the table. I'm going to rub my finger across it, mix it up. So I'm not really sure how this is going to work, but trial and error, like anything, you try it if it works, great. If it doesn't, try another technique. So what we're going to do first is we're going to give a dark blue. Now we're going to spray the dark blue on the edges and work in with lighter colours. So this will work on any colours. You can have yellows, reds, like sunset or anything like that. For this one I'm going to use the blue. So do some dark blue there. What I'm going to do is just slap it on like this. Yeah. It doesn't really matter about getting a bit of paint on here, on this mist, because you can go back over that in a minute. So we'll go with the next shade of blue. And then the lighter blue. I've got a bit of aqua here as well. I might just slap a bit of aqua in there. Yeah, why not? Let's mix it up a bit. We'll get a bit of aqua in there like that. And then some white last. Right last, and I'm just going to spray a line down the middle like that. And also with a canvas, paint on an easel and that. Yeah, you do have to put a bit more paint on the canvas. You've got to watch out for running. There's a bit, a bit too much white paint there, but it's all right because you're doing the water, so I'll mix it in. So when this, you've got to do it pretty quick because the paint will dry. So what you're going to do is get your finger, and we're just going to rub it from side to side. This might be, all, this might be all right. Might be a bit dry in places. So did you see the white at the bottom fall off the end? That's because there's a bit too much white that white on there. So it's dry here at the top. That's alright. 
No, já nevím. Ne. So just step away, have a look at that water. Quite a lot of that. Quite a lot of that, that water. How it's turned out. So now it's a bit rough here. On the top. It's dried out. You could use some um, clear coat, clear spray paint. And put some on and wet it back up. I might just show you that in the video. So, I use this this varnish spray, it's clear coat. So what you want to do, just spray a bit on there. I'm just going to spray it light, because I'm not sure how it's going to go with it being varnish, it'll run a bit. So, just put a bit on there, like that. And also, if you do wet your painting back up, well then you bring a bit of black up there, because all the paint gets wet. So I'm just going to leave it like that. And just there like that. And also, if you do use clear coat and you do wet the painting back up, this will be a lot wetter now. So say for instance, you did a planet or something and then it was almost dry and you wanted to do something on it and you clear coated it to wet the paint back up or something else. The paint will be a lot wetter then, so it takes a lot longer to dry than just having normal paint on, because it wets the paint back up quite a bit, so it's easier to move like you just saw here on this water. So like I said, I've got to keep an eye on the battery on my phone and that. So we've got that now. So we've got the water. I'm, I'm really liking that water. I'm surprised how well that's turned out. A nice bit of aqua in as well, gives you a bit of different colours and that. So now we've got the water in. What you could do here, you could use a straight edge or something, like a piece of card, and you could straight edge it there, and then do some mist over it so it like blends the trees in and the water, so it's like two layers. Or you could just spray it out of a can. If you haven't got this, a piece of card or something to use as your straight edge, you can use a piece of wood. A big long metal paint scraper it's called the decorators tool you saw I should used one of them in the last video what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna mist it out I think so I get the white I'm just gonna do a light mist So I quite like that, I'm liking that. And also the dark here gives you a bit of like different colour so it looks like the trees are reflecting in the water or something like that. Right, so I'm liking how that is. So I'm not really sure what to do now at the bottom. Um don't know whether to add a tree. Show you how to put a tree in. Um yeah, I might, might do some bushes or somewhere across it, yeah. And have like a tree or something. I don't want to put too much in the painting. So my battery's on 20% now. So I don't think I'm going to be able to finish this. I'm just going to have to do this quick, I think. So I'll get the black. going to do is I'm going to add some bushes I think at the bottom just to break it up a bit I was going to add a tree in that but I won't have time what so you, do you want me to finish it like that and just sign it or shall I just add a bit of a few bushes here something on the side I'm not really sure I'll just read some of the comments. Yes, sign it. I love it as it is. So I'm going to leave it then. I'm going to leave it. 
because the battery's going to run out and I, and I wanted to finish it. So you could sign it with a pally knife, but this is going to be dryish. See, it's almost dry. So, like I've been doing in some of the previous videos with the paint drying pretty fast, you can use like a paint pen or something like that, white marker pen or something. So I'm just going to sign it. I'm going to pull some paint through here. Might sign it a bit too big. Um, just going to sign it here. So that's a painting finished. Um, we've been a test than that. So hope you enjoyed it. I went on a bit talking and that, but it was like a test. Not sure what the quality of the video was like or anything like that. Um, I quite like how it's turned out. I like the clouds, I like the colours. Pretty simple painting, really. So if you could follow along with it as well. I'm going to put this up on my channel, I think. So, quite nice. I like it. I like how it's turned out. I know some of the paintings I do add a bit more into the bottom and stuff like that. But, just leave it like that. Like you said, they're pushing the paint away from me, out the back of the windows. So, I'm going to finish that video there. Thank you all for stopping by and watching. And for all your feedback and that. Thank you for all the support on the channel so far. It's really appreciated. Don't forget to give the videos a like and comments. It really helps the channel out. Because I want to grow it a bit bigger. And once again, thank you for stopping by and watching. I hope you enjoyed this live stream. I'm hoping to do some more in the future. I'll post this one on the channel at some point. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day, and bye for now.